Hello Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with a daily episode of Ask Dave during the third wave of this pestilence that is sweeping the world. Trying to bring you a little bit of ham radio every day and I thought what I'd do today is show you something that is just totally cool. This is a microphone. It's often called the lollipop microphone and it uh, sits on this stand so it's fairly tall. It's got a push to talk bar on the side and you can bring this up and keep it in push to talk. That was back when hams would yak for a really long time when it was their turn. Let's just take a look at it through the overhead here. This top is called the D104 and uh, the D104, let's see if I can bring that into focus. There we go. Okay, the D104 uh, microphone. It's from A-Static Corporation. And uh, this microphone has become really kind of iconic. Uh, you see this on, uh, let's wait for a moment for this to come back into focus. Okay, there we go. It, it has a stand and it sits on the stand. And uh, so if you talk, you just grab the microphone by the side. If you want it to stay and push to talk for whatever reason, you can just slide that little thing up right there. It's all chrome. Now there are versions of these that are done up with gold plated this, that, and the other. Um, this is just a very ordinary one. Um, when I got my general license and went out to buy my radio, this was the mic I wanted and I couldn't get it. Uh, I had to get the so-called bullet head for this because they had run out of these. But uh, this is uh, a real corded mic uh, and the mic plug that is on here is for an old Yesu, a Yesu FT101 um, Bravo. I'll show you what radio that is. I've got it right here. It's this one up here. That's the FT101 Bravo. Now. One thing that's interesting about these old radios is that they came with neither a microphone nor a speaker. So you had to add those two things. Hence, people like A-Static who made microphones. Well, nowadays, all the radios have their own built-in microphones, like this one here. This is the ICOM microphone for the uh, IC7300. Um, Okay, it's not nearly as fancy, but it is a microphone. Whereas if you got that old Yesu, I got a Yesu FT201, which I no longer have, um, you had to get a microphone for it. And you had no choice uh, but to get a microphone. So companies like A-Static um, made these mics. Now this mic, it's a high impedance crystal mic and everything today is low impedance. So this has in the base a little amplifier and there is a volume control right there for it. There's a nine volt battery in here and that is only turned on when you press push to talk. So it's off all the rest of the time so that the battery lasts a long time. And you'll note the, the uh, spring around here to keep from breaking that cord. That was back when they they really made things sturdy back then, yeah. Um, so, there you go. An old microphone back from the old days where your radio did not come with a microphone or a speaker. It was a while before uh, radios started coming with speakers and microphones. And finally, the uh, I think the Japanese made that transition first but the FT-101E, which was uh, the FT-101 Bravo, the FT-101 series were the first Japanese transceivers to really make a dent in the American market. And they didn't come with microphones or speakers either, as did none or very little of the American gear. Now, the American gear, uh, some of the, the uh, ham radio only receivers didn't come with a speaker but the general band receivers uh, did. If you look up here at this radio, this is a Holocrafters 
Sky Champion S20R, it does have a built-in speaker. So there you go, just a little bit of a glimpse of yesterday and what ham radio was like. Uh, this microphone is in perfect working condition. I have used it with the FT-101 Bravo, which is also in perfect working condition. And uh, our amazing radios back from the 1970s. By the way, I got this one on eBay. I had no real idea what the condition was. Uh, bought it, and when I got it, I took it thoroughly apart, looked at everything, and was just pleased as punch at what a great piece of equipment I had picked up. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune in to the Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Mountain Time for the live stream. And I'll try and have a video every day for you as long as this third, third wave lasts. Until we next meet, 73.